Hey everyone, welcome back to Fish Pond Farm. Um, today I am super excited to be playing the next couple days. I am back from spring break, so I have my regular quiet recording space back. Um, and I'm definitely very excited to play this more. Um, I'm having so much fun with the new uh, update and also just the progress I've been making, like getting my new uh, house upgrade right now. Robin's working on it, so that's all very, very exciting. Um, and then over here I have my new plant that didn't exist before this update, so that's cool. Um, I have a ton of row in my inventory now, but um, I'm excited to get to play this and kind of relax. I just did the walkthrough for the house that I'm moving into, um, and I'm going to be moving next week, so I'm taking a little break from packing and all of that chaos to <laughs> just come play Stardew Valley and get this uploading so that it will be up tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is also going to be the first day of the new uh, spring quarter that I'm starting, so um, that's gonna be busy as well, but I think I can get everything that I need to get done done. Um, but part of the things that I need to keep doing is getting these videos done, so um, I'm going to try and get some recordings done so they can be uploading while I'm doing the other things I need to be doing. I did not mean to put that in the scene maker. I meant to go to the chest. It's fine. Um, I need to check if I can put the melons in Pierre's little bin. Um, and I might sell these seeds back if I can, because I did not mean to make them. Um, okay, these are done too. So many things are done. It's very nice. Um, and this is... I love that now if you hit this, you just get hay, because my animals don't tend to go up here very much. Uh, and they've been hungry, so... Yay. Okay, I got another ancient fruit. That's very nice. I like that it's raining today because it's giving the grass starter that I planted a chance to spread without the animals eating it. So that's good because my animals did not have much food <laughs> recently, but they should be okay now. Um... I went in there already. Okay. Um, getting stuck on everything as always. I know where I was trying to go. I was going to go here because I want more ancient fruit seeds. Um, my goal is to start collecting them so that I can... Uh, ultimately be able to have a spot for them once I get my finalized way I want my greenhouse, which is not what it currently is, but I will get there. Alright, I'm going to go to Pierre's because I want to see whether these melons are things that I should be giving him, and if not, uh, I will <laughs> do something else, but I'll just come back and put them there. But I also want to get a few more seeds because I have that spot where the melons were, um, and some other things are going to start finishing being planted, so. Um, Sure, I don't know why you need that, but I probably have some. <laughs> and then... Yep, 
Yeah, I don't know why it's being so picky about what counts for that, but, um... I think I'll get... that many because then I can replant them where I had them and then if not I can put some in the greenhouse. Um, is there anything else I need here? Um, I finished my big thing that I needed, so I might as well just spend all the rest of my money on grass starter because I'm going to be getting my basement, which means that I'm going to be able to get a lot of income from that soon. Um, but one of the things that I need to do for that is keep all of my animals happy and healthy by being fed. So I will put the grass starter out today so that it can be spreading while the animals are inside from the rain and then eventually when they come out they'll be able to get lots of grass. Um, plenty of fiber, well, not plenty, but I have 50 fiber now. I'm going to save it for when I really need to replant grass, but for now I think I'm just going to leave that grass there, and then I'll put those there. Um, I'm going to check on getting the flounder. And then after that I'll come back and do animal stuff. Uh, Robin is right in my yard anyway, so this is actually very, very easy. So, <laughs> that is probably the easiest delivery quest I've ever had, but there we go. Okay. One of the things I wanted to check was not that. This, the upgrade gave a thing called a large uh, quest, or a large chest, sorry, oh my gosh, English. But I don't know how to get that. I don't think I have it currently, um, but I would really like to have it. Also, this targeted bait thing is really interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that in the near future, but this one, I think, would be really useful. Um, I just need to get moss. This one is also very interesting. I don't have lots of moss. Maybe I should look for moss, um, but first I'm going to do this stuff.
I want my rabbit to start giving me rabbit's foot because then I can put it in the community center and then I'll only need three things left. So hopefully it will start doing that soon. I don't know exactly when it will do that, but that is something that I'm looking forward to. Now that I've done that, I think I'm gonna go get some supplies like wood and uh, stone and try to get moss. I think I'll go to the quarry first. Oh wait, actually this one has moss on it. Perfect. Because I got one piece of moss so far. Um, but I'd like to have more because it seems very useful. And I want to try making the things that uh, it's used for, so. Also, there's hardwood trees here, so that's good. I'm probably also going to go to the secret woods, because I haven't been there in a long time. And I probably should go there. <laughs> there are so many things in the way here. try and replant things because I don't come here often but when I do I like to have things ready to get um, I'm gonna get stuck on everything as always use all my energy for this though so I'm not gonna get everything here just kind of get a bit so that I can replant and um, I really want to get the other shipping bin thing ooh ancient seed perfect um, I want to get the other shipping bin from Robin at some point because I want to have more than one of those but I know that takes wood. I don't think it takes too much wood, but wood is something that I just constantly need more of, so coming over here is just convenient. Um, perfect. Ancient fruit seed. And I'll grab this as well. I'm gonna go over to the secret woods and then uh, look around in that area for moss as well because that was the first place that I found moss originally so um, I don't know how common moss is I think it's kind of rare I don't think it's I think I'm in the wrong yeah, I need to be on the other part. <laughs> um, I think moss isn't super rare, but it's definitely, I think, something that you have to go out and get a lot if you want to use it really efficiently. Um, I'm just going to cut this whole area too because, first of all, it doesn't take energy, it doesn't fill my inventory, and... Well, except for those. The mixed flower seeds thing is new, and that's interesting. Um, but this way, 
they'll have plenty of food in the silo as well. I need to get another silo at some point too. Um, and I have a hardwood tree there, but I'm not going to cut it down right now. I like finding fiddlehead ferns too, so this is good for that as well. Whoa, did I get three from that? That's cool. Um, This one doesn't have moss on it, but I'm going to get it anyway. Um, I think the darkness is making it difficult to see which ones have moss. Also, it's already 10 p.m., so I should theoretically start heading back, but I'll just kind of wander I don't want to use up too much of my energy as well because I don't want to get slow. I still have a lot, but I think I'm just going to go up now. I also want to get the stuff from the shed before it's too late. Inventory is just barely. Oh, that's so close. Okay. Um, I also totally forgot to try and sell these seeds to here, so I'll just sell them now. Um. just kind of going to sell some random things as well to try and get some more income back again after everything <laughs> with spending all my money on tons of other stuff, so... I'm going to also put my ancient seed over here because that's where I want it. Um, oh, and these are ready, so that's actually perfect timing because I'll just get those restarted now. I have a lot of hops, so I'll just go ahead and do that. Also because I know I'm going to get this upgrade very soon and I would really like to have more things to put in the basement and I think that beer, I think it's beer that comes from hops, I'm pretty sure, I think that uh, is faster than wine in this game. I don't know anything about the actual making of alcohol, so I don't know how that compares to real life, but um, alright, and I am going to save 
all of the wine and cheese now so that they can go in the basement because I'm so close to getting that. Um, I'm so excited about it too. I don't know if you can put juice in them, but that's why it's in there because I want to see. I don't know if people are gonna like aged parsnip juice. Personally, parsnip juice, whether aged or not, and just parsnips in general does not seem very good, but <laughs> that is what's going on in this game, so we'll see. Um, I like how both types of melons equaled to the same amount, even though they were different prices. That's very interesting. Um, Yay. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually very satisfying to get that much because, um, why is it, what the heck is this? Whoa. It's making everything grow faster. What the heck? This is new. Oh, it gives you moss? That's... That's cool. This is... Whoa. This is... Really strange. It's like oobleck. But... <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I'm getting moss, so I'm not complaining. But this is not something that I expected at all would happen today. Um... I'll... Mossy seed? That's new. Does that, like, grow moss? Or is it just a seed that also happens to be mossy? I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> this is... So weird. The lighting in my house this morning was so weird. That it was just so green inside. But I guess it makes sense. Because the lighting, when it's, um... When it's raining is different, so... Whoa! <laughs> this is so strange! I'm having so much fun with this, though. This is really interesting. Um... Yeah, this is... This is new. My inventory is gonna be so full of stuff, but I... I don't really care at this point. Um, I already have 20 pieces of moss. Just as long as these things don't grow in my crops and damage them, I'm totally fine with this. This is interesting. Um, I've got lots of blueberries. That's cool. I'm gonna probably sell some and keep some to turn into blueberry wine. Also, my thing about harvesting a hundred radishes, I planted all of those radishes so far, so. <laughs> I have a lot of radishes growing right now, but, um, oh, my squash is ripe. That's really exciting. This is new. I'm very excited about this. I want to make that into a seed because I don't think that there are ways to get that crop um, from a store or anything, so I want to make a seed so that I can get more of those, because those are cool. Um, oh my gosh, they're everywhere. <laughs> this is really fun, though. Whoa, what the heck are these? They're, like, giant trees that were not there yesterday. What is this? That is not... What the heck? <laughs> this is so weird. It's really cool, but really weird. Okay, I need to figure out inventory things. Put those there. I will refill this with this one. I try to kind of cycle through which one I do so that I don't use up all of one and that I am using the others, so. Um... I should grab these. This is so weird. 
I know I've said that like 12 times today. More than 12 times, but this is really weird. This is really fun though. I don't know what I do. Oh, this seed grows rare mossy trees. I think that's this thing that I just cut down over there. Um, that is really interesting. I don't know what those trees do other than give wood, maybe, but, um, this scarecrow is causing me problems for harvesting this, but yeah, that is, that is interesting. There's some over by Grandpa's Shrine as well. Um, also my trees over here that I planted, I think... put a tapper on a mossy tree? I think I can, because I think I saw something about there being a certain, uh, crop thing that you put, or a certain, not crop, but, like, tapper item thing that you get from it, so I'm just gonna put, can I put tapper? No. Can I put one there? I don't know. This is where I did plant my, uh, my trees for tappers, but I think they've been taken over by whatever these things are. <laughs> um, I'll just put that tapper there for now. I still have the others. Whoa, this is weird. Okay. Whoa, the lighting in here is a bit unsettling. This, I feel like, feels a little bit apocalyptic or something being in here with this color of stuff going on, but it's fascinating. Did this back window always look like this? I don't pay attention to it enough, I think. Um, Alright. I'm not gonna keep quite that many blueberries. Although, I am going to make some blueberry seeds because I would like to have some in here. Um, I am mostly holding off on planting too many things in here yet, especially things that grow- why is it mixed seeds? Oh well. <laughs> especially things that grow, uh, repeatedly because I want to kind of finalize sprinklers and stuff before I do that. But, I think if I had a couple in here that would be okay. I'm gonna need another sprinkler. I think I'm gonna put the summer squash in here too, um, just because I don't want anything to happen to it, and because it's a crop that can only grow, um, or that I think you can only get the seeds from it by finding them. I'd like to have one in here so that it can grow for more than just uh, one season so I can get a lot to make more seeds so that next year I can plant a lot of them. So I need to grab some sprinklers to do that. And also empty some of this chaos that's in my inventory. I have so, so much moss now. <laughs> um, okay, I have one of those sprinklers. This is so strange, but also really fun.
and I don't have... I, I have a good amount of wood now, too, which is also really exciting because I've been struggling with having enough wood for things for quite a while, so. I'm gonna just do one summer squash and then the rest will be blueberries because I would have the perfect amount to fill the sprinkler except I have the summer squash but I'm just going to leave this extra here so that when I do end up replanting things I can have it there. Also, I know I just sold hop seeds but I'm also going to make a couple. I want two or three because uh, ultimately I would like, okay, three, that's perfect. I'm going to replant the hops and I'm not going to have as many as I currently have in here when I rearrange things. Um, but for now, that's fine there. I'm gonna kind of save up on hops while I'm not using, um, the greenhouse for a lot of other things just so that I can have stuff to always be able to make beverages but then ultimately I'm gonna have more things to make beverages anyway so I think oh I should say hi to the animals this green thing is distracting me so much from everything because it just looks so like in California during the summer it's fire season and so the lighting is weird like this except that it's orange this is like A weird version of fire season except it's rain green rain season <laughs> the lighting everywhere um this is so strange but honestly it's so interesting too i love the idea of this that there's just this random green rain that happens and then everything grows in really unusual ways um <laughs> It's really fun. Alright. Now we have these guys. I have exactly the perfect amount to fill all of these. Don't drink things. I'm gonna continue clearing these guys. I'm sorry to all the frogs that I'm disturbing. I do not mean to disrupt your hiding in bushes, but I have a lot of weird trees to deal with. Like, these trees, there was not a tree there before. This is really weird. I want to make sure none of these things just spread and encroach on my crops that I actually want to have planted there, so. Um, okay, I'll leave that, actually. I also heard that the... Um, now if you cut down a fruit tree, it will give you a sapling for it, which that would be really, really nice if that's true. I need to, I'm not going to actually try to cut down any of my fruit trees right now, but um, that would be really nice because then you could kind of move your fruit trees to somewhere else if the place you initially planted them isn't where you ultimately want them. Uh, without having to buy a completely new one. So if that is true, that would be really, really nice because I would really appreciate being able to move them. Because the place they are right now, it's fine, but I 
do have a few other places where I feel like they could go and I would like them to be maybe eventually um I have so much wood I can buy a shipping bin soon which I'm excited about but um all right this is so strange I want to go explore in this rain and see what else is going on um This is so weird. Oh my gosh, everything is completely overgrown. This is... I just said yesterday, I think moss is gonna be hard to find because it seems like it's gonna be rare. You have to go find it on the trees and then now the... What the heck is this thing? I want to hit it with an axe. <laughs> What are these? Oh my gosh, it's a giant fiddlehead fern. Whoa, <laughs> this is so weird. I've said that so many times, but... No one's outside, too, except Robin. Robin's just working on my house, but no one else is outside. They're probably all like, this is... It's raining green stuff, and trees are exploding out of nothing. This is the end of the world. <laughs> I want to go see the beach with this. Whoa. The little splashes on the... I feel like one of my fish wanted a dried starfish. Um, <laughs> the uh, little splashes on the sand are I'm getting distracted. Okay. Whoa, it's 12 already. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I'm not paying attention to anything. Anyway, it seems so much earlier. This rain is completely throwing off my sense of time. But the summer squash seeds, I'm going to go back to that. The summer squash seeds were interesting because they look like the worms. And this is how I found the original one that I got. They look like the worms, but they're not quite the same. They're a little bit different. Um, and I knew it was different when I hit- before I hit it, so that was- I- I noticed the difference, that was cool. Also, the thing I was trying to say but I kept getting distracted by everything else was that the splashes of rain on the sand are green right now. And it's very strange, <laughs> and I have way too many things in my inventory. I will sell those, because I want all my fiddlehead ferns. Um... I need to save this starfish because I think that one of the fish ponds wanted one, so. What the heck? That's new, too. What happened now? Oh my gosh. Even this background, I think, is greener than normal. I... This game is so different now. This is so strange. The weather in this is so much more dynamic. It's not apocalyptically green now. My basement is here! Yes! I'm so happy about this basement. I have so much to do with this basement. I cannot wait. I definitely need to uh, put stuff down there. I want to move things around first, but this is a cutscene. I'm just going to skip it for now because I will uh, come back to it in the next game, but whoa, <laughs> that was, that was unexpected. That was cool. Um, I'm checking because I'm making sure that that windstorm that happened last night- Okay, see? These are not worms. These are like swaying plants or something. They're green and those are the seed ones. There is a difference. Um, I'm checking to make sure that the windstorm did not uh, kill any of my plants or anything. It looks like it's pretty good. 
One of my corns died, which I don't like, so I will probably plant my summer squash seed there. But for now, everything is so weird. <laughs> for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!